It can all happen. Well, you know, this story has been out for a couple of days. Mm-hmm. Uh, it actually, it came out wow. several months ago. Yeah. Uh, regarding Brett Favre, in, in, uh, Hall of Famer, great quarterback for the Green Bay Packers for most of this year. Spent a couple of coffee at Jets and at the uh, uh, Minnesota uh, Viking. But um, his line share time was uh, with the Green Bay Packers. So, you know, apparently, Brett had a couple of things going on. He was he was trying to cut some deals for uh, for the University of uh, uh, Southern Mississippi. Mm-hmm. For one, he was getting being paid for appearances that he never showed up for, and never did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about and and the the situation with uh, getting money to to build a facility, a volleyball facility, where where the daughter went to school to play volleyball. Mm-hmm. The source of the money came from funds to help disenfranchised people, poor people, mm-hmm. welfare fund. Right. And apparently, uh, Governor, former Governor Bill, I mean Phil Bryan, was was part of it too. He kind of helped make it happen. So for this guy with multi million dollar, he making commercials all the time. He got money all over the place. He he got it. They gonna put together this scheme to fund this facility for his daughter, and who knows what else. And 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 really acting like he don't he don't know anything about it, or you know, he, you know, he, out of his hands. Right. Brett Fob, you knew exactly what was going. On. Then, then now, and by the way, recently there's some text messages that's been of that has been revealed between him and the uh, and the governor of Mississippi. Uh basically talking about how some of these things are going to happen, involving people that's running the welfare fund and and uh, the government said, I'm going to talk to her, don't worry about it, we're going to work it out. You don't need to worry about anything. And so Brett knew mm-hmm. what was going on. And he thought was, th- this would be okay. You still, you, you pretty much misappropriating funds that, that should go to help people to build a damn facility. Right. But it, it looks like he paid one point one million dollars back. Said he thought the money was just for cutting radio ads. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> but, so what they you know they paid like we said we you know we this was out a while back when it first when it first broke, and being from Mississippi, I'm you know I, of course that's all the news the minute that it broke. But I guess what what confused me a little bit well I guess the most about it was. So when they came back and said, "Hey, you want to pay it back?" Say, mm-hmm. "Yeah." He says, "All right, yeah. I didn't. I never did the ads, you know, and I never did this, or I never made the appearances. So, you want to pay the money back?" The real crux of the scandal was the way the governor was pushing the agenda, getting other people to sign off on it, calling, you know, uh, he just, he just, it was really just about the governor and his level of corruption of mm. making sure that. He could he could hook up a guy that he admired or he liked or whatever and and at some point you could see and he leave one of the text messages Brett was like hey look man if, if you can't make it happen it's okay I mean we, we we good no no don't worry about it I'll take care of it don't worry about it yeah I can do it and then I mean he's just pushing this thing and it just goes to show you that at the end of the day as much as they sit around they talk about you know big government and this you know all this other stuff that they like to tout they out here doing this with actual taxpayer money mm-hmm. shows you that, you know, they're corrupt as they can possibly be when it comes to most of these politicians doing stuff like this. So the sad part about it really is Brett, the minute that he saw it wasn't on the up and up, he should have just stepped back and said, hey, keep my name out of this. You know, yeah, I'm trying to get a facility, you know, get some money pushed toward USM, just like every other person that went to a university or school or alumni tries to get their school the best, you know, hookup they could possibly get. Senators and other people try to get their their states the best possible hookup out of some of these bills and appropriation bills that they could possibly get. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they all do it. They all corrupt, but I don't understand why they like to pretend like it doesn't happen. But the best thing Brett Favre could have done was once he said, the minute he sent that text, he also should have sent a follow-up and said, hey, matter of fact, just remove me from it all together. Right. So you don't think uh, Brett is complicit in this whole scandal? 
complicit, meaning he asked for it or he, he took the money? Yeah. Yeah, he took the money. But I'm saying that's what I'm saying. The minute he realized that it probably wasn't on the up and up, he should have just backed away from it altogether. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. Uh Davis and others work uh together to channel at least five million dollars of the state's welfare funds to build a new volleyball stadium at the University of Southern Mississippi where his daughter played. Mm-hmm. And then Brian's for years, uh uh who's Brian, I'm not sure who's Brian. Oh yeah, the governor. This is the crazy part about it. For years it said Brian for years has uh denied it. Uh, yeah, 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 but then, so but although they they name they're gonna name the facility after him, but he did <laughs> yeah, you know I mean? That just, is crazy. That that that's crazy. There's yeah. already a negative connotation behind yeah. it, and you're gonna name it. Yeah, and we got you know we um friend of ours, his daughter was a since volleyball coach at the University of Southern Mississippi. Mm-hmm. Um, my my daughter graduated University of Southern Mississippi, and you know, my and my cousin is the dean of the journalism school at University of Southern Mississippi. Wow. So. Yeah, I'm pretty close to the university. I understand Brett Favre does a lot of things, and the state does a lot of things for the university. But at the end of the day, once you realize it really just wasn't on the up and up, you you got to you got to back away. Right. You, I mean, you got to be big enough to to say. Now I'm sure he probably was like, "Well, I don't want to you know hold up anything," but and then you got to back away. You got to say, "Hey, a we never did those commercials. A I never made those speaking engagements, and you know what." Don't you don't have to do you don't have to send me anything. We don't have to do all of that. So it that that that's what honestly, for Brett's part of it, that's really what he should have stood on. Mm-hmm. He stood on his own principles, just said, Hey, take me out of this. But you didn't, so now you're in it. Which is the question <laughs> of his principles. <laughs> right, have, now you in it. He may have been standing <laughs> on his principles. Yeah, now you in it. <laughs> So I mean, this is obviously this has been a pattern because that, that's like it's been like seventy-seven million dollars uh, of welfare dollars Holy. that's that's been misspent on other nonprofits that's not even associated with that. Mm-hmm. So the people need the money the most; they don't get it because p- people right. taking the money and doing other things with it. Yeah. That's sad. That's the sad that, part. That's, that's a tragedy right it, there. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, man, it's, that's ridiculous. It, it just it just burns me up it's when I hear, "Oh well, we are, we didn't have funds for that this year." What? Yeah, yeah, seventy-seven million. You go to That's certain crazy. states and certain places. We didn't have funds for that this year. You know, that, I mean, that just makes you think. Like, so the whole water thing, the whole water crisis. So mm-hmm. let's let's just take that as an example. Some of the reasons that they haven't make they didn't make the repairs and do the thing they should have done was because of funding, right? Although they did fund similar projects for Clinton in other areas outside of Jackson, which are predominantly non uh, African American. But I'll leave that be for right now. But so, no, it didn't get funded. It wasn't funded. Yes, was it highlighted over ten years ago? Yeah. Has it been a problem? Yeah. Has it been actually a part of the state spending? Yeah. Did it get funded any one of those times? No. Well, look at here. Looked like you had money to do other stuff. Right. To build gyms at you know at universities and other things, you could do that. That's why. Whenever I hear, you know, they, you know, it didn't get done because they didn't have the money. Ah, I don't want to hear that. Every right. state, all yeah. there's a lot of there's billions and trillions of dollars floating around this this country, each and every each and every day. And for us to say at any time for anything to have to happen for our infrastructure, that say we didn't have any money. Trust me, look a little deeper. It's there. <laughs> look a little deeper. It's, it's somewhere. There. Mm-hmm. It's somewhere. Yeah, and even the current governor. It's he somewhat works. involved. He, he, he abruptly fired the attorney that was bringing the state's case to yeah. light. He mm-hmm. wanted to subpoena, subpoena a lot of documents related to the volleyball statement. Uh, the governor fired him, fired the attorney general. Yeah, he works. Oh, the attorney, wow. if you will. Oh, uh, man. So, hey.